Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friend Bayani here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to repair a leaking faucet for the bathtub. By the end of this video, you know what's happened with it. Yeah, we're gonna shut off the water for the basement because we have it separated. So the upstairs is still water is still work, but downstairs I'm just gonna shut it off. Yes, um, here we shut off the water. And now we know the the water come here, but the problem is right in there. Because this is the water shut off. And this is where we're gonna open. First we're gonna have moved the handle. And then we have gonna have moved the ring. And then we're gonna check to see if we can adjust it. If we can adjust it and it is top leaking, we are good. Otherwise we have to find part and have place. What I mean by adjust is uh, in here we have two adjusting valve that we can adjust for the water. And here's this, this all the are parts. We can take them apart and see if it's, uh, we can just do some adjustment on the inside. We don't know until we open it. Then let's, let's work. Here is another thing that I do whenever I do the work. I keep the hardware belongs to each bathroom together because sometimes they come little parts that is just especially for those things when this is this little thing so the faucet and it's just here because we don't use it for anything else so it stay around first thing I'm gonna It's just a little screws. I show you once this is out. I show you right there. See, this is what we look for. See, I screw to tighten it up. Nothing to it. So this one is out. I put in here. And the thing is, I have this part, uh, the drain closed. If something fell there, I'm not gonna go down the drain. And I'm gonna do this by hand. A screwdriver. What kind of head? Yeah. Just a square head. And I'm just gonna do by hand because this sometimes is pressure sensitive. So I don't want to use a, a drill or anything like that. Here we have some uh, silicone around it. We have some silicone around it, so I'm just gonna cut it before I can uh, remove the ring. I'm just gonna try to see if I can remove it use just my hand if i can't i just gonna use a wrench to to remove it one part coming out Okay, so now I have um, I have um, this ring that exposed. This one I'm gonna need the wrench for sure. So. I'm gonna remove the housing and check to see if we can find something there. It's just a pipe wrench, old time but work great. Gonna adjust it. Let's see. Let's see what we can find inside.
See, I just have moved the, the house inside. And here I show you guys the problem. Looks like that is uh, this gasket somehow is just uh, broken. So we have to figure out something to make this work. Yeah, probably this happens it's a little bit hard to say but uh, should be maybe it could be a little bit rough use or something uh, but hard to say exactly the gasket just sitting there but it is broken Yeah, the fast solution for this one, I just got this new one from a, another washroom that we have the same that not being used. And uh, because this one is rented, so we just have to solve this problem right away. And then I have more time to deal with the other one. Probably I would just go and pick up one the same faucet and replace the element and just use it for part. Not the whole thing because if you're gonna replace the whole thing, it's involved in the baking tile and all that work, so it doesn't uh, pay to do that. And I'm still gonna try to find the gasket. You have to just pay attention to see how you have moved them, that way you just know how to put them back. We here, we put, uh, we did the replacement part, we turned the water on. There is no leaking anymore, the thing worked great, I can show you guys. No leaking. Um, okay, before before you guys put it back together, you gotta check to see if it's not leaking, otherwise you're gonna have double work. So this is why this part is still open, because just to check it. No, I'm just gonna put it back the same way you have moved it. And thank you very much guys to watch this video. And I love you guys.